Here is solution to your question number three of school assignment. There are 15 questions in this assignment. We'll go one by one through all of them. And I hope by the end you will understand how to translate word problems into equations and how to solve them. Question number three is, Andrew won a two-day bicycle race. He traveled 60 kilometers each day and his average speed on the second day was double that of the first day. If Andrew drove, rode for a total of six hours, what was his average speed each day? So for any distance time speed, I'll recommend make your table like this, which relates distance, speed, and time, right? So we'll have three columns here. One for distance, one for speed, and the other one for time. And then two rows. These two rows normally will give you two events. Now, for example, here, we do have two events. That is, Andrew won a two-day bicycle. That's not the two events. The events are he traveled 60 kilometers each day and his average speed on the second day was double that of the first. So there are two days involved. So let's say day one, right? Let's say day one and then we have day two. So these are two days. Now he traveled 60 kilometers each day means distance is 60 for each day. It's a good practice to write units. Units is kilometers for distance, speed is kilometers per hour, and time is in hours, correct? Now, let's read further and write down about the speed. It says his average speed on the second day was double that of the first day. So we'll write down a let statement and say let speed on first day, or I should say day one, first day be x. So that is x. Now the second day is double, so it is 2 times x. So we get our second equation, right? Now here, how are speed and distance related? Remember your triangle on speed and distance? Make that here also. This is all for you to remember, right? Kind of systematic approach so that you can always get it right. Now time is distance divided by speed. So here the distance is given to you, which is 60. And speed is x. That's it. How about the second equation? Which should be 60 divided by 2x. So you get 2 times here. Do you see that? It says if Andrew rode for a total of 6 hours. So total of these 2 times is 6 hours. What was his average speed each day? So we have to find average speed each day. Okay. So we have to find x also at 2x also. So in our answer, we have to write both the answers. So circle them. What has to be answered? So both we have to answer. Okay. So these are our answers. Correct. So let's get back to the equation. As you can see from the table, absolutely clear. Total time is 6. That means 60 over x plus 60 over 2x is equal to 6. That's it. Now this is a rational function, kind of simplest of all the rational functions, right? And you can very easily solve it. You can easily solve by taking common denominator of 2x, right? So we say lowest common denominator is 2x. So how do we work with it? We just multiply every term by 2x. So that means times 2x, times 2x, and times 2x. What do you get? So you get... 60 times 2 here, that means 120 here, plus this is 60 as such, and here you get 12x. Do you see that? 12x. Now 120 plus 60 is 180, equals to 12x, and therefore x is equals to 180 divided by 12. At this moment, take your calculator, divide by 12, and get your answer, which is 15. Remember, what answer do you have to write? Read the last statement. So normally the last and second last statements help you finding equation and what to answer. If Andrew rode for a total of six hours, that is the equation, what was his average speed each day? So we say day one speed, day one, right? 
speed is how much? X, which is 15. We say 15 kilometers per hour and on day 2 the speed is twice. So we say 30 kilometers per hour. So that is how you should complete the question. I think that helps. In the following questions, I'm not going to solve them. I'm going to help you write or get to the equation. That is what it is. And in all speed distance problems, from now onwards, let's straight away make our table. Try to plug in values for distance speed. Write time as a relation. Distance divided by speed. Read sec second last and last statements to get your equation and to understand what you need to find. Once you get equations, solve, right? And write your answer finally, very clearly, for exactly what is required to be found. That should help you to perfectly answer your questions in the test paper and get good marks. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.